in line with the strategic objective of the organization, which is advocacy, it requires that we inform as many people as possible about the ocean's economy. Now, part of it, what is required, is to ensure that we know what is its size and what is its contribution to the GDP. You know, otherwise we'll be talking about things that are just thumbs up. So it is important that we use some level of uh, science uh, to inform even the decision makers about the contribution, you know, of the ocean's economy to the South African GDP. So one of the really interesting projects that I'm involved in is that I work with the Global Oceans Accounts Partnership who are based uh, through the University of New South Wales in Australia uh, and I facilitate their Africa Community of Practice. Uh, and within that Africa Community of Practice we're engaged with a number of African universities uh, creating fellowships, creating postdoctoral uh, opportunities etc for capacity development. I think the critical component about Ocean Accounts is that it's a really new discipline. A lot of the times when I start talking to people about Ocean Accounts, they have no idea what I'm talking about because they've never heard of it before. So capacity enhancement, um, skills development, etc., are a critical component of this. And that's one of the central functions of a university in terms of skills enhancement, skills upliftment, etc. So it's a really important component from that. It's also a really important component from a research perspective, which is another area or another pillar uh, of a university's function. Uh, so both in terms of skills development and capacity, and we see this across Africa, in Kenya, in Ghana, in Madagascar, in Mozambique, um, how we are utilizing university capacity to advance uh, really to, to uh, advance a, uh, an awareness, uh, an interest, and through that an appetite for use of ocean accounts as a really critical ocean governance tool. Globally, across the world, I see countries turning towards their ocean space, their exclusive economic zones, in order to uh, advance their ocean economy. Uh, and in doing so, to boost uh, economic growth uh, by capitalizing on particular sectors that haven't been included uh, up till then. Uh, the other important part about this is that there are increasing, really, technological advancements within the ocean space that allows us to drill deeper fish further, um, you know, really new ways of looking at tech uh, that has resulted in massive increases in access. And associated with that, obviously, that increase in access is the increase in the um, way in which countries are turning towards the ocean space to foster economic growth, uh, food security, uh, other resource use security, uh, employment opportunities, etc. Um, so it's, I think, a critical aspect and a, but a, an addition to that is that associated with that increase in ocean economies there's an increase in ocean impact, ocean pressures etc. And the management of those pressures is critical and importantly I feel that ocean accounts underpin some of those management objectives. Without these sort of uh, measures Let's put it this way, you can't manage what you can't measure. And without these measures, uh, we're going to be a little bit stuck uh, in terms of some of the trade-offs. Trade-offs are, are really dependent on valuation. So without the valuation, we're going to be stuck in terms of those trade-offs. So I would argue that I think a really important aspect of this is to have a clear boundary, a clear definition of what we mean by ocean economy. The problem or the challenge has been that so many people working in this space have created their own definitions, own definitions of ocean economies and different sectors within an ocean economy, be they fisheries, be they mining, oil and gas, etc. The other thing is that the definition uh, or the challenge with definitions goes to 
Many people utilize the term blue economy and blue economy has got a whole lot of different terms uh, in the, on the manners in which it's used, uh, including aspects of sustainability, aspects of inclusivity um, and um, the use of uh, renewables as opposed to non-renewable resources within this space. So it's absolutely critical to have a clear definition of what we're working with because that definition allows you to establish the boundaries, the scope of what you're doing. And if you don't have a clear scoping in this, in this sort of analysis, you're going to achieve very different results, uh, very different components. As an addition to that, uh, if we look at what's done in the UK versus what's done in the USA, they use different production boundaries, they use different sectors. And this means that the metrics that they obtain from their analyses are slightly different. Uh, the, the US, for example, would include downstream fisheries uh, uh, <coughs> aspects of fish processing, whereas the U UK won't. And this means we, did, we actually, we just, we're just measuring different things in different places. Uh, and then it becomes really difficult for comparative purposes. Well, what's standing out for me is that uh, everybody is uh, is focused, is serious, uh, is uh, is excited about the measuring of oceans economy, the impact, and, and then they're going deep into economies of municipalities and everything. I think it's, it is a, a very eye-opening and a, a very a good uh, event. But uh, just to say, the stakeholders for now are still. Uh, the academia and the, the, the government stakeholders, I think when it's expanded more to the other public, general public stakeholders, it's got to be exciting because the questions will be different and then, yes, it was exciting. I think uh, from the first session that we had engaged on, there have been some movement because one, we needed to work on the definition of the ocean's economy, which we have now offered you know, uh, to the working group and the various stakeholders. So that's the first thing. Two was to say, this is how the methodologies would work when they are applied properly. So we have a sense that at least from point A, we've been able to move, you know, uh, forward. So our commitment is to ensure that at the end, we have got a product that would ensure that we do measure the size and the contribution of the ocean's economy to the South African GDP. Ah, well, ocean's economy, blue economy, circular economies, and for now it's still everybody's explanation, and then it's every country's preference. Uh, you can even give it two, three uh, meanings. Or, or explanation is still it's not going to change as long as the activity is the one demand, uh, de de demanding matter that this is what we're going to call it we call it Asian Ocean's Economy but what will you do and uh, I think worldwide uh, is still not as uh, certain as where does Ocean's Economy start where does free economy start and well South Africa I think is the only nation that uses uh, Ocean's Economy everybody else is using blue so it's open to individual definition, but yeah, quite exciting to keep uh, trying to get to the correct statement about ocean's economy or pre economy things. Uh, the purpose of today's session uh, was to uh, facilitate uh, knowledge um, sharing as well as um, knowledge exchange which is part of uh, the SIEMI mandate, which is premised on three focus areas, namely advocacy, uh, maritime education and training, as well as research and innovation. Today we saw um, a number of speakers that spoke about uh, the definition of the ocean's economy, its measurement, including the models that we're going to be using as SIEMI to measure the the ocean's economy's contribution to the economic growth of the, of the South African economy. So these are um, mainly related to the um, development of a satellite account, 
um, the GGP model as well as the GVA model. So the comments and feedback that were provided, which were very insightful and refreshing, uh, will be uh, collated into a report, uh, which will be shared with the stakeholders that were in attendance today, as well as the members of the public, uh, to ensure that we get um, um, additional views on how we should approach this uh, space going forward. And uh, the feedback as well will also assist us in uh, actually beefing up the work that we are doing as Saimi in terms of uh, defining the economy as well as the ocean's economy and its contribution to the GDP growth of South Africa. I think the, the session today went very well. Uh, the topics that were presented today were on point. And considering where we come from uh, with regards to this process of measuring oceans economy, there is a lot of progress that was made. The work that was presented today shows that uh, indeed there is a lot of work uh, that is uh, that is being done in, in an attempt to, to measure um, how big uh, the ocean's uh, economy is for, for the South African economy. So overall, I would say that uh, it was a very useful uh, session. Um, we learned and the wheel is turning. We already have definitions. We are not there yet, but at least in terms of the methods, the two definitions that were presented today shows that uh, the work that we had started earlier on, there is movement. So all the speakers that presented today, they shared very critical information. So there is work that is being done. And uh, thanks to Saimi for arranging this session. And we're looking forward to the next session sometime next year in 2024. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's quite an important uh, engagement. Uh, it brings different thoughts. Uh, I think everybody is learning. And it is important that uh, we can share views in respect of how we measure the ocean's economy, its impact and its future and uh, I think it is a, a well organized event uh, and is that as such uh, it felt quite uh, open eyeing and very uh, smooth uh, engagement that we had today. I think we had uh, predetermined that there are three methodologies. One is the satellite account one which we are working on making sure that we have got the available information uh, to be able to populate it. Two, it is the gross value added a methodology and then it's the geographical location. So those three methodologies we will use for different purposes uh, to ensure that you know we build the case uh, for how we measure uh, the size of the uh, ocean's economy.